As they say, some like it hot. If that's the case for you, then there you go. Great week for the beach. That's why I'm in this attire. Uh, just big surging heat for a nice nation or a portion of the nation. Look at that. Widespread 100s here for the central and southern plains. We'll do widespread 90s out across portions of the Midwest, Ohio Valley, and Great Lakes, and that will spread east as well. I just kind of wanted to show you the big push of very warm air. This is day after day after day. Look at just very widespread at the very minimum. We're doing middle to upper 80s the next couple days at the maximum lower 90s as far as that widespread nature. And again, big pocket of heat here. But this goes through the weekend, your holiday weekend for 4th of July. This goes through the middle of next week. That's a long standing big blast of warmth, true heat wave, kind of similar to what we saw in 2012. That was a record breaking year. We're not going to be quite like that, but shades of it. So a few complexes of rain and storms the next couple of days. These could be a little strong before they fizzle out on Wednesday. Otherwise, a lot of dry air in store for the Great Lakes, portions of the Ohio Valley. Not much rain back towards the west either, just staying kind of in that pattern due to this very big hot, widespread high pressure heat ridge right across here. It really pumps the ridge. This dry air allows for high pressure to push in um, and create heat, really. That's how it works, and that's really going to be something that's going to stay around the region and allow for that widespread nature of warmth. So this is kind of the area to watch where it's going to be uh, decently above average. Continuing with the future cast, we're trying to find some rain. It's going to be spotty for the most part. You're looking for kind of those more small-scale features, lake breeze boundaries, sea breeze boundaries outflow boundaries to kind of spark off some showers. There should be a couple systems, but kind of you know, few and far between, to be honest. And there could be a couple of ridge runners, maybe one that moves on through. But again, this isn't something that's going to be modeled super well, and it's going to be kind of localized. So widespread, nice needed rains in this hot pattern, probably not going to happen uh, for a lot of you. Again, there's little signs that there will be some showers and thunderstorms bubbling up at times, but overall we're looking at too dry of a pattern. Here's the anomalies, departure from average, very dry across this corridor here and across portions of the plains I think is going to be fairly dry as well. I do agree this area um, right like this will kind of be where the more active pattern is. Florida can probably go either way, dry out across the west, but it will be a cooler spell on the western portion of the country overall. But pretty widespread temperatures above normal, and again, the big comparison to average stretching across much of the north. So certainly going to feel like the middle of July as we go throughout the next couple of weeks. For all your weather forecast needs, please trust NeoWeather. We really appreciate it. We can do business with you and really help you out as well.